Hey Arctic Warriors, what's up? Arctic Phoenix here. I'm doing my NFL playoff predictions, pinkskin bracket. So, I'm okay. Texans versus Browns. I mean, yeah, I did my spreadsheets. I have my spreadsheets up. You can kind of look at it right here. I mean, yeah, I mean, the Browns have been a much hotter team as of late. I mean, they haven't really had a stable quarterback i mean joe flacco is looking pretty good right now i mean the and the texans i mean they have really turned it on as of late i mean i mean yeah their offense really hasn't been that good in the last five games i mean the Jets game might have something to do with that i mean but their defense has been really good within the last five games i mean the Browns defense have been good pretty much all season long, and they pretty much have to be because of the injuries and the quarterback situation. But anyhow, I do think the Browns are going going to win. I mean, C.J. Stroud, I mean, he had an awesome rookie season. But I think the Browns, they're just a better team right now. So I'm going to pick them. Chiefs versus Dolphins. Yes, the Peacock Bowl. I mean, both those teams, like, they do have some obvious Achilles heels. I mean, I mean, Dolphins, yes, they have an explosive offense. I mean, they're off fence. I mean, they're, I mean, Tyreek Hill is having an MVP caliber season. Who was looking pretty good. I mean, but the big problem is they cannot beat good teams this year. I mean, outside of the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, the Chiefs, I mean, they have had some uncharacteristic struggles this year. I mean, and yeah, the Dolphins, they kind of collapsed and gave the Bills the division as well. So they haven't been looking so well. But the Chiefs, they haven't been bad this year. I mean, their defense has been one of the best in the league, surprisingly. But their offense has had some uncharacteristic struggles. I mean, the receivers are dropping a ton of passes. Mahomes has been losing his cool a lot. So, anyhow, I, despite all that, I still think the Chiefs are going to get the job done. And they're going to pull out the dub. Bills versus Stellars. The Bills have been playing some of their best best football as of late i mean they have won like their last five games they haven't lost since the eagles game i mean their only real concern is the turnovers but outside of that their offense has been firing on all cylinders i mean out of all the playoff teams they have allowed the fewest points out of anyone so they have been really playing a complete game as of late outside the turnovers so the Steelers, I mean, they're pretty much like God hot leg, got to get their 500 winning record. So, and then they did win their last three games, but their last one was against a Ravens team who was essentially putting in their backup. So, anyhow, I think the Bills are going to pull out the dub here. Buccaneers, Eagles. One of the hottest teams in the league versus one of the coldest. I mean, the Buccaneers, I mean, yeah, the resume doesn't look all that impressive, to be quite honest. I mean, they they did win arguably the worst division in football. I mean, the NFC South, so they got that going for them. I mean, kind of similar to the Texans, but that's because, like, the Jaguars imploded, so... I mean, and yeah, Baker Mayfield is pretty much shining his nut up or shut up here. I mean, and what else? Oh, oh yeah, they're, they haven't really been giving up the ball too much in the past five games. I mean, they only got five giveaways, and, and they did beat the Packers on the road, so they can beat good teams. And yeah, they didn't, and the, as for the Eagles... Yeah, they have imploded. They lost five of their last six games, including losses to the Cardinals at home of all teams, all but giving Dallas Cowboys the division. 
And plus, they lost their Week 18 game against the Giants, who have also haven't been that good. So, yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to pull a 2012 Ravens run out of there, you know what. But I think Tampa's got this. Lions versus Rams. Yes, the two quarterbacks that got traded are facing their former teams. I mean, yes, the Rams won a Super Bowl in there. They won four of their last five. Five games. I mean, and plus, their offense ha has looked pretty solid this year. And this year, they're 10th in the league in passing yards, and they're 7th in the league yards per pass, as well as their rushing looking pretty good right now. And their passing attack, I mean, they, of course, that Cooper Cup. I mean, and plus, Puka Nakua has been looking like an asset. But the Lions, I mean, they are having some of their best seasons of their career in a long time. I mean, I mean, their offense, especially their passing attack, is nothing to scoff at. And plus, I think their run defense has looked solid. Looked like one of the best in the league as well. But they do have an, an obvious Achilles heel, and that's their passing attack. I mean... I mean, they they have given up a ton of chunk yardage. I mean, I mean, hell, I mean, the, I mean, the Eagles haven't been, been too good. I mean, they allow like the second most touchdowns through the air, but that's besides the point. I mean, I do think the Lions are still going to win this game. I mean, they're they're a very feisty team, and I think that'll be enough. Cowboys, Packers. I mean, the Packers have looked really good on the defensive in the past two games, and that they have their success is nothing to scoff at, especially with a first-year starter and basically first and second-year players just littered throughout the roster. I mean, hell, 29 touchdowns by players who were in the first two receivers who were in the first two seasons of their career. I mean, youngest team in the playoffs. But they're up against the Dallas Cowboys, who haven't lost a game at home all season. But then again, this is the Dallas Cowboys we're talking about. They usually choke in the playoffs. And the Packers, from a statistical standpoint, have looked, have been on par with the Dallas Cowboys the past five games. So, yeah. However... I am going with the underdog Green Bay Packers. Go Pack Go. Cowboys suck. Packers to the second round. Ravens, Browns. Yeah, I think the Browns, they're both been really solid teams in the past five games. I mean, I mean the Browns' biggest Achilles heel has been their turnovers. They turn the ball over a lot. But they usually get a lot of takeaways as well to balance it out. But but the Ravens have been on a different level this year. I mean, it has been insane just how good they've been across the board. I mean I mean they got the most rushing yards, they got the they have the most rushing yards, they've been scoring a lot of touchdowns, their defense has been holding up. I mean the Ravens, I think, are the most complete team in the NFL right now. And I think that's going to be more than enough for them to get the dub. Bills, Chiefs. I mean, yes, Patrick Mahomes usually has everyone's number in the playoffs. But the Bills, I mean, they have been almost unstoppable the past five games. I mean, the Chiefs, I mean, yeah, they usually do good in the playoffs. But like I said, they have been a vulnerable. And the receiver drops, Cardavious Tony, have been one of the reasons why. And plus, Mahomes has been a bit rattled this year, while Josh Allen is just doing everything in his power to help his team win. Most other years, I would say Chiefs are going to win. But I think the Bills, I think they're going to rise up to the occasion and they're going to beat the Chefs. Packers, Niners. I like the Packers in 
a lot, but the Niners, I mean, Christian McCaffrey or not, this is a complete team. I mean, they, they have been one of the best passing teams. They have been one of the best rushing teams. I mean, their defense has held up. I mean, one of the big reasons why the rushing is good is run CMC. I mean, he is, he is basically a cheat code for them. Like, he can even throw the ball for Christ's sake. I mean, the Brock Purdy, I think, is a one of the best quarterbacks in lead. Their defense speaks for itself. I mean, the Packers are they're just gonna be out of their depth in this matchup. I think the Niners got this. Buccaneers, Lions. This is an interesting matchup. I mean, you got a team who isn't that good on paper, but they have been playing really good football the past. Going into the playoffs. And then you got the Lions. Who they don't have the best defense. But they will do anything in their power. To win games. So. Yeah. So this is going to be a real. Like interesting matchup. To say the least. I mean. Especially considering the fact. That the Buccaneers. I mean. They got some things going for them. I mean their defense has been lights out the past few games and the Lions I mean their defense has gotten better but they still have statistically have one of the worst defenses in the league so yeah I think and plus the Lions usually have a very good offense so anyhow there's an old saying defense wins championships and I think somehow some way the Buccaneers are going to continue their momentum against the Lions Lions, I think they're going to win a Super Bowl in the future, but I don't think this is that year. Buccaneers are winning. Ravens, Bills. The best team in the league versus the hottest team in the league. I mean, I'm a huge Ravens fan. I I want the Ravens to win game, but I'm just going to be real here. The Bills are on a mission right now. I think... They are they are finding ways to win week in and week out since they lost to the Eagles. And I think and I don't think they're scared of anyone, especially their QB Josh Allen. And Lamar Jackson, I mean a lot of people say he's struggling in the playoffs. I think he's gonna step up this year. He's probably the most complete quarterback right now. And and despite the injuries, especially the running back, they're still finding ways to win. But I think the Bills right now, they have been every bit as good as the Ravens the past five games. I mean, probably seven, six, seven games up to this point. If they two face off against each other. But I think I think the Bills, they're they're riding a wave of momentum, and I think it's gonna continue to the Super Bowl. Bills are gonna win. 49ers, Buccaneers. I I mean, it's probably going to be a good run for the Buccaneers, but the Niners, they're just a better team than Tampa right now. I mean, not much to say. Niners are going to win. Bills, 49ers, Super Bowl 58. Momentum versus talent right now. I think... I and mean, yeah, the like I said, 49ers, they have a loaded roster right now. But the Bills, they're pretty loaded as well on both sides of the ball. They got like I said, Josh Allen, I mean Gabe Davis, Stephon Diggs. I mean, they're a pretty balanced team as well. And 49ers, I mean, their talent speaks for themselves. But at the end of the day, I think I'm going to pick the 49ers to win the Super Bowl. So, yeah. So, yeah, these are my picks. I think I think it's San Fran over Buffalo Bills. Final score, 24-21. Thank you. Have a nice day. Peace.